Lunatic Fringe, there is very little time left before the final burns are implemented by Terraform Labs. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Let's check this out because there's 274 billion Luna Classic set to burn. There's uh, 2.1 billion USTC getting ready to burn. And we are a mere day away. Plus, we got the Binance burn coming up. So, <clears throat> this is... And by the way, we haven't seen a price pump. We've just seen Luna Classic moving along with the broader market. Bitcoin trading over 71000 right now. And we've seen a little bit of upward momentum, but we really haven't seen a breakout. And I think at this point, people are just waiting to see what actually happens. So, uh, walk with me on this journey. Um... Let's see what's going on. First of all, uh, Terra Luna Classic passes game-changing proposal 12142. Um, and this is from Binance Square. Um, this was the crucial network improvement restructuring efforts and potential token burns. Um, these changes are designed to boost Lung's ecosystem, making it leaner, faster, and more attractive for users and investors alike. Community members are buzzing with optimism about the foundation that could propel Lung's journey towards substantial growth. Um, so... Does that mean $1? Well, the reason I'm bringing this up is because the answer is no, not yet. Um, something like this right here, uh, 12142, does not create a, a $1 move. This is kind of clickbait, kind of a gotcha sort of thing. So it doesn't mean that we're not better today than we were yesterday by virtue of passing it, but it does mean that it's just a small piece in a tiny equation. The big piece, in my opinion, First of all, we have the reverse charge, which looks like it's going to pass. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But after that, we've got one week from tomorrow when we see the first proposal from Ceramic regarding the Lunk to USTC repeg, which would include some type of burn mechanism. So that's when really we'll start to see, um, in my opinion, uh, after we see you know the burns that are happening or should be happening in the next couple of hours. Remember, by the way, I am in the central time zone in the United States. I'm in Chicago, and what you're, um, it, there's about a five-hour time differential here, so it's about midday on the 29th, so within about 12 hours, it'll be the 30th, so sometime in the next 36 hours, whatever amount of burns there should be from Terraform Labs, we'll see. Uh, the 30th, that's, that's the day, so... We'll see what happens. Back to the matter at hand, though. I don't think this moves the needle very much. Now, we are at four zeros 93 right about now, but you know, we've kind of been there already. As far as Commonwealth goes, uh, really just a, a continuation of everything that we've seen so far. little discussion to be held. Not a whole lot. As far as meme coins go, uh, Cat with Hat still continuing to accelerate. Uh, boys having a nice little run. Ju uh, food, too. Juris had a little bit of a drop-off over the last couple of days. Um, uh, down 14% when you look at uh, the chart, then you can see that there is, you know, quite a bit of sell-off happening over here from this top after you drop the zero. Now, uh, if you are concerned about that, well, then you are what the French call um, horrible at crypto. Because if you look at your standard Fib retracement, you take your impulse move and you take, you know, what you're seeing right here, then what you're watching right now is a perfect retracement to the golden zone which is down here between 0.5 and the 0.618 line. You're seeing a perfect, perfect retracement. And now the next step is for a retest back up here and then a breakout above. So uh, if it plays out the way that it should play out, and by the way, when I say that, uh, the, the way that it played out right here when it bounced <clears throat> and right here when it bounced, when it plays out, it should be exactly what you're looking for. It should be a continuation uh, to that next level. So if it plays out that way, you're welcome. So be looking for a move here. Uh, just a little profit taking. That's the way people work. That's the way it happens. There's 111,000 in liquidity here. Uh, no market cap, but uh, let's, it's fair to say with 111,000 in liquidity, you're talking about 500,000 to a million dollar market cap. So um, make sure you have a bag of Juris. I've got about 12 million right now. Uh, make sure you get yourself a bag. Uh, I think it's going to be kind of important to have going forward. Remember, Juris protocol, by the way, is one of the uh, protocols here that's going to be the lender that will be the driving force behind everything once everything you know once all the pieces start to fit into place we include the burn mechanism uh, we include the lending this is what's going to uh, cause a a boom if you will 
in Luna Classic. All right, so on to the voting. Implement a simplified tax handling. This was 12143, and it looks like it's going to pass. There's four days left, but it's 99.5% at this point. And uh, the only abstain, there's no abstain, no no with veto, uh, nobody out here. Everybody so far has been voting yes, uh, resoundingly to the reverse charge. What is the reverse charge? Um, and that's basically... Um, the implementations that we talked about before, automatic tax deduction, backward compatibility, contract interaction. And by the way, you know, backward com compatibility, things like that. While Kepler station, others are expected to continue to work without changes. So um, that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see uh, these things be capable and robust enough in changes. A year ago, the valuation of cryptonomy.finance was $3.7 billion, according to the British government. Today, that value... 6.1 billion. This company has managed to raise 2.4 billion dollars in capital over the last 365 days. If you're looking for a place to get information about investment opportunities, then Cryptonomy Telegrams are the place over here. This is the quarter. Uh, this is the quarter, third quarter uh, marketing overview. This is Ben Armstrong has predicted uh, XRP past ETH in market capitalization. These are news articles that are constantly giving you the information that you need. Additionally, there's an update channel and it's giving you market structure playouts. It's giving you market updates on each major country and indices that there are out there right now to give you an idea of what is going on in the market so that you can get an idea of what it looks like broadly and how these governments are working. Big news articles, whatever you need, Cryptonomy has it for you. Not only does Cryptonomy have it, but myself, Dean DCA, Crypto, Lyft Capital, Jake Gordon, we're all writing articles for Cryptonomy. You can come check. I did one on Immutable Quarter 2 of 2024. Uh, we've also got Thorchain, State of NYM, and we got Ronin's Web3 Gaming Empire. Guys, if you need information about this crazy crypto market, then by all means, you need to go to economy.finance slash research. But none of that matters unless you are using cryptonomy.finance the way that it's meant to be used by setting up fixed staking so that you can earn some significant yields. Let's set up a deposit today. Today we're dropping three ETH into a nine month contract. All right, we've created that, but the biggest move into all of it is the launch pool. Guys, I cannot stress enough. They've had 57 X average return so far in their investments. If you just create a deposit, I've got a potential for up to 5X with a 50-50 profit sharing from the launch pool. We're gonna create this contract now for $20,000. And there we have it. The anticipated profit between one and 5X when this thing is completed. And it will complete in October of 2025, just in time to cash out for the bull market. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for autonomy.finance today the, to, to make this thing work no matter what with all the outstanding Cosmos wallets. Um, so uh, tax to gas obsolescence because Genuine Labs has basically disappeared at this point. So, um, you know, here, here we are with that, um, you know. I don't have any comment, by the way, on Genuine Labs. They may have just, look, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, you guys are dicks sometimes. And, uh, you know, when you fight with these people over getting paid to build in the ecosystem, sometimes they don't like it. So they knew what they were getting into when they came here though, right? So it's their fault, it's not ours. Now, price action. We're up $38 billion in the market and look at the Luna Classic price chart and you can see right here that we're doing exactly what I've been telling you that we're going to do. Uh, we're testing right now the uh, 200 MA bounced above it. It looks like we're going to have a move off of it. We cleared it. Um, that would mean that there's probably going to be kind of a move up into this higher range. Now, uh, the one thing that would concern me is getting caught up right here on the right here on this midline, if you will, uh, for this this channel. We might kind of, you know, it happens every once in a while. We just kind of break up into that range uh, and not break out above that. We need that breakout for confirmation that would give people, uh, and this by this I mean people, investors who like trading Luna Classic. They want to see big moves. If they see big moves like this. That's a trader's dream that allows you to grow and that gets more people involved in the ecosystem. And what that also does is creates an opportunity to get moon bags. And that's what these people want. They want a nice little moon bag so that uh, there's something there to keep them attracted, motivated, and going for it, if you will. So uh, I, I would like to see a little bit more activity on it, but you know that's going to be up to uh, the, the implementation of whatever burns 
or upgrades that we're talking about over the next bunch of days. Should we see that, then boom, I think we're going to get a nice little rally, and I think we're all going to be pretty happy because of that. As far as volume goes, we're down 10%, but the market cap is up. I keep telling you guys, it kind of works that way. USTC, same thing, down 35%, but the market cap is up 3%. The buyers are stepping in. Now, of course, when you when your buyers step in and we get that kind of rip here, there's going to be profit taking, which is why it always comes back down like that. Now, uh, people are getting tired. I'm going to tell you, uh, I do think that there is some, some truth to people getting tired of uh, you know, not seeing that big upward momentum. But if that's the case, you're just not cut out for crypto because you're overthinking the bag. The the way that you get rich, Raul Paul, any 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 person who's a crypto investor, they will tell you this. The way that they got rich is not by trading and flipping meme coins or trading and flipping uh, altcoins. The way that they got rich is by long-term hodling those meme coins or those altcoins or those blockchains and then waiting for them to have an explosive move. That's how it happened. It didn't happen by you buying a bag thinking in, in a month it's going to the moon and when it doesn't go to the moon, you just sell it because you're a dummy. The way that it happens is you hold it in the bull market. So the bull market is almost here or the golden bull anyway is almost here. Are you still holding? And if you're not, <laughs> not going to make it. All right, so uh, Terra, uh, Terra, Terra dot money, uh, not doing anything right now. Haven't made a post since September twenty fifth. Uh, Fleece Cannon, which is Chris Amani, nothing so far. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, Elbun Project has just uh, minted uh, another mining NFT payout, five hundred ninety nine USDT to thirty two winners. Top price was one hundred sixty three USD. Support us if you like our work. Come and learn about our ecosystem, and you can go learn about it at the Elbun Project. Um, at Elbun project and uh, you have to have base tokens by the way i have some base tokens in my wallet so um you know if you have base tokens and the nfts go look at the go look at the ecosystem and go check it out it's a great opportunity for you uh as far as uh, the rest of it goes no burns really We've got a 231 million again this is better than it was at some point but still not you know we'd still like to see over 300 million at least really like to see a billion but 300 million i'll take um Burns, just just very little burn happening here. We're we're getting to the end of the month. It's starting to to you know kind of uh, slow down exponentially, but we're still waiting for that big move from the TFL wallets and the LFG wallets. So you know that's what we're waiting for. That's what we're looking for. And uh, if you haven't already, go play some Rocket Defense. Rocket Defense just started a new season. Uh, so um, go be a winner because if you don't play, all you are is a loser. Now uh, <laughs> that's not true. But um, uh, go check out Terra Casino if you're looking. There's two million dollar in two million euros uh, giveaway from now until December 22nd. Uh, High Voltage Two is now available for play, uh, sponsored by BTG. And you know all the tokens that you have right now. And we're getting into the holiday season, so don't you need to win some money for the holiday season so that you can uh, be like us, the big boys, and buy yourself something really nice for Christmas? Of course you want. So anyway, uh, if you want to trade meme coins, trade that over on Terraport.finance. That is your place to go. And again, Cat with Hat still continuing to just have a nice big rally. So uh, And the burns, by the way. Remember, don't forget that Terra Casino is burning Cat with Hat right now. And they'll be doing that uh, going forward for a little while uh, before they move on to another token and or meme coin, whatever you want to call it. So uh, big move here. If you can stomach it and you can hold on to it for a little while, very big possibility Cat with Hat gets a little bit of traction and takes off. You heard it here first. So um, that's it. That's your update. Uh, I know I kind of wandered a little bit, but I wanted to keep this as fast as possible. Uh, get these to you a little bit quicker. Um, so I hope this helped. I hope it was a little bit, it's a little bit wonky for me, uh, by the way. Uh, don't forget Selenium, by the way. Um, uh, but, you know, guys, we'll see you soon. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow with hopefully one gigantic update about the amount of burns. And if that is the case and we see that happen, we're going to be talking about why the price exploded. Okay, that's what's going to happen. So fingers crossed that that's going to be what we talk about tomorrow. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.